All right, and then we can go to the model, uncheck the skeleton. Okay. And then we can also untick this one if you want. And then we go to horizons. Okay, horizons in the model, top and base like this one, or you can also construct the edges like this. But maybe we need to check again the top, this one. Okay. There is some issue, I think, because we should have antique line. Okay, so let me check again. Oh, I think we did some mistakes actually. So let me try to, to make it better. Okay. So for the top and base polygons, we have done a good job, but we did some mistakes in creating the surface. So let's delete the surface first. Okay, it's okay. Okay, so now we have top polygons and base polygons. If you want to make surface, you go to this one, make edit surface. Okay, now be careful here. First one is about the top surface. For the input, we should use actually these polygons. So I select this one, it will be located to the main input. Whereas for the limit, it will be from the skeleton. Okay, so now I select the top, get limits from selected. Okay, this should be like this. Click apply. Okay, if the grid limit, okay. So top points will be to the top and the uh, top will be this one okay if the grid limit in includes the input data make surface fail the input data itself okay and then the algorithm settings okay let me try again okay so we have one, two for the base, I think. Go to the spreadsheet. We also need some corrections here. This should be 9,000, okay. And then this should be minus 9,250. And then this one will be, this will be like this. Okay. So click apply. Click OK. Click. Then click apply. Click OK. So like this. Okay. And then we go to the make surface again. Okay. I will try again. The top will be the main input. Okay, and then the top, this one will be this one. Issue again. Yeah, I think it's because this one, the deleted object. So let me. Okay, and then remove icon. Okay. So we start new, top will be located here. Top skeleton will be located here. Let's see, still problem. Okay, so let me try again. The top polygon to be input data for the top surface. Top skeleton will be data for the limits. Okay, and then 
we click apply still some problem there okay i will try one more okay so instead of using polygons i will start to use points instead okay so again in make and edit polygons i go to this one point editing okay and then i will select this one add points to point sheet okay let me try i will place it here so i have polygons and now i have points okay so i will close this one i will change to select Okay, so for points, I will go to inside. And then for the style, for the info, I will call it top point. Okay. And then again to the spreadsheet, I will copy the top polygons. Okay, let's see if I can make this correct. Okay. Top points, spreadsheet. Okay. Oh, not, it's not very good, so. Let's try manually, 0 to 10,000. OK, 0 to 10,000. It will be located at minus 8,000. OK, and then I will place it at this, sorry. Eight thousand. Okay, and then this will be minus eight thousand. Okay, and then this also. And I will locate at the top at. Okay. All right, and this one at 4,500. This one is 10,000. And then 5,500. Okay, so yeah, I will click apply and okay. So that's for, and then the style can make it to 20. Okay, info, apply. Okay, I will untick the top. Okay, so it will be like this. Or something's not right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I will leave this one white color. I think that's no problem there. And then I will also untick the base. And then I will copy the top points, paste, info, I will call it base points, spreadsheet, 
and then I will locate it at this depth. Okay. Okay, and then this one will be located at 8,000. Okay. All right. Click apply. Tick this one, okay. So I have the points for upper anticline and then the points for lower anticline, but I should correct this one. This should be located at zero ten thousand. Okay, these are okay. Ten thousand zero zero zero. 10,000, this should be 10,000. Okay, you can see. And also for the top points, info, this should be 10,000. Okay. Safe. Okay, now let's see. From here, if we want to create surface, okay, the top points will be located at the input data. And then the top skeleton will be get limits from selected. Okay, so instead of using polygon, I should have selected points. Okay, 